Hi, I'm Faith Greenwell, a homeowner and employee at U.S. Inspect. Today we're going to learn all about main shutoff valves. Here in the electrical panel, you have the main breaker. You actually have two panels, they're both 200 amp panels, and you have a main breaker here and you have another one like that in the other panel. Sometimes you will see next to the meter another switch and that one would then be the main, main the line. main disconnect. So would I flip that top one? This top one right here will shut off all the electricity that's controlled by all of these circuit breakers. If you were to turn off both of these top breakers, all the electricity in your house would be going, okay. would go off. And then if you need to for some reason turn it on again, it's usually best to turn off the breakers, then turn on the main and start turning them on a few at a time, not just turn everything on at once. Okay. Now your water. That's actually one of the most important things you want to know. Over here, you see they very properly mark this for you, main water valve. This kind of valve only turns in one direction and it only turns 90 degrees. In other words, it's on here and when it turns off, it's like that and it'll turn in this case like that. Some of them are regular valves like these up here. You usually shut them off by turning them clockwise. It's important to know where this is. If you have a leak going on somewhere, maybe you can get underneath the sink to turn off that faucet, that, that local valve, but it's always best to head towards the main valve. If you ever have any doubt, it's gonna take you a lot less time to run down to this valve, turn that thing off, shut off all the water in the house. Make sure you don't shut it off if you have a gas water heater uh, without double checking to make sure right. that uh, you're not trying to draw hot water out and heat an empty tank. Mm -hmm.